morning student today we will study chapter 5 pre topic is india physical okay physical means a body part okay? so india is a country so it has a definite boundaries okay so let's see boundaries of india okay so our country is a part of the continent of asia so as you know that india is a part of asia continent okay the land surface of india varies from place to place so the land form the land surface of india is not similar okay so it is different from place to place so it has high mountains vast plains thick forest and dry deserts it has long coastline beautiful beaches and many rivers so it has mountains vast plains thick forest and dry deserts okay so in india you will find all these things okay so it has long coastline long coastline means the the land which is situated near the sea coast okay so that is called the coastline so beautiful okay so many rivers so very few countries of the world have so much variety that is what makes india a beautiful sorry a very beautiful country okay so India is divided into following six distinct physical divisions or geographical regions. So let's see one by one in details. Okay. So here we have the in the map. So first, <coughs> the northern mountains, Himalayas. Okay. So first we will study the Himalayas. So Himalayas, where you will find the Himalayas? So Himalayas, uh, you will find in the northern part of India. Okay, the dark brown color. Okay, so northern mountain plant is given in dark brown color. Okay, you see this part, and here. this all comes under the northern mountains okay himalayas so it includes the uh, uh, parts of jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh and uh, natural and northern uh, northeastern part okay except assam okay so here you will find the highest uh, mountain or highest area on the earth okay so it Himalayas so it includes the north and northwest and northeast part of our country okay so this part you know where is Mount Everest Mount Everest Mount Everest you will find in Himalayas so this Himalaya is situated in Nepal so Mount Everest is not situated in India okay you will find in the Himalayan regions but it is not situated in our country so this area throughout the whole year remain uh, cold okay most of the mountain peak are covered with the snow okay so weather is remain cold throughout the whole years okay let's see some of the important rivers that originated from the himalayas okay so first let's see brahmaputra so brahmaputra originated in the himalayas brahmaputra river flow down from china in china it is known as yellow sango or sango ganga koshi kandak gagra Sarda, Ganga, Yamuna, okay. Indus, Chinap, Ravi, Sutlas, Julm. These all rivers originated from the Himalayan regions, okay. So these are the important rivers of Himalayas. Next, Northern Plains. So it is given in the green color, okay. So this includes this part okay so 
the northern plains are large stretches of flat land okay so you will not find very high mountain or flat okay it's very flat so it lies to the southern of the himalayan region so you see so this is so this part comes under himalaya okay himalaya so northern plain you will find in the southern southern part of himalaya so northern plain is situated uh, southern part of the himalaya okay <coughs> so these himalayan regions are formed by the himalayan rivers okay so these parts are very fertile regions why it's very fertile regions because the himalayan region uh, himalayan rivers brings a small particles called the slit okay and because of that this area are very fertile okay and as a result the plenty of crops are grown here so climate is cold during winters and hot in summers okay next the great indian deserts the sandy areas of the west the thar okay so desert area you will find in the north west part of india okay so this portions so it covers mostly the rajasthan's area okay so this area comes under the desert okay so india desert is called the tar okay so tar you will find in the rajasthan so desert is a dry land that is usually sandy or rocky okay so tar lies in the western side of our country so tar this is, that is the desert okay so this part you will find in the western side of our country isn't it so it receives a very little rainfall okay and hardly any crop is found in summers days are very hot and the night are warm so in winter the nights are bitterly cold okay and here the population is very less why it is less because of the harsh living conditions okay now let's see the southern plateau the deccan plateau okay so what is plateau plateau is an area of land that rises high but is flat on top okay so it's like a table okay so southern plateau covers this area okay it is given in new colors so this whole area comes under the southern plateau okay so here you will not find the area very high mountain okay so this area also called the deccan plateau okay so this southern plateau form a peninsula peninsula means what the land which is surrounded by water on three sides is called a peninsula peninsula means what so you see so this area okay so this is southern part of india isn't it so in the three side you will find the water okay so it is surrounded by three seas first iron sea in the oceans and bay of bengal so on the west what oh, uh, sea is there iron sea south in the ocean and on the east bay of bengal okay and because of that this area is called the peninsula okay so let's see the some of the important rivers that flows in the southern plateau so this mahanadi godavari krishna kaveri tapi narmada okay so this rivers flow 
in the southern part of India. Okay. Narmada and Narmada and Tapi. So these two rivers flow down in the Arabian Sea. Okay. And rest in the Bay of Bengal. That is the Godavari, Mahanadi and Krishna. Okay. It has high ranges called the Western Ghats on the west and Eastern Ghats on the east. Okay, in the north, Vidya and Satpura. Okay, in the north, some mountain ranges are there. In the north part, Vidya and Satpura ranges are there. Okay, in the southern plateau. Okay, the climates are hot. Okay, some part of the areas receive heavy rainfall. Okay. So this area mostly uh, climate remain hot, okay, and some area receive very very heavy rainfalls. Next, the coastal plants, okay. So orange, uh, sorry, yellow colors. Okay, this portions is given yellow color. So these are the coastal coastal plants of India, okay. As I already told you that coastal means what? The area which uh, are very near to the seas, okay? They are called coastal plants or coastal area. There are narrow strip of plain land along the coast to the east and west. East and west, okay? So these are called the central, egg, sorry, coastal plants. So many rivers flow through these plants and fall into the sea, okay? And the climate of coastal plain is moderate. Moderate means what? Uh, th that there is neither too hot nor too cold okay, throughout the year. So, weather remains moderate and pleasant. Next point, the island regions. So, island regions cover this part, okay? This part. Some small, small toad is given here. And here also okay India has two islands okay uh, on the west Lakshadweep okay and on the east Andaman and Nicobar Islands so islands means what an area which is surrounded by waters okay so they are called the uh, island Lakshadweep is situated in the Arabian Sea okay on the western part and Andaman Nicobar in the Bay of Bengal in the eastern part okay so here to the climate is moderate neither too hot nor cold throughout the whole years okay so students we have discussed all the important point of this chapter okay and I hope you understood very well thank you